uh, first of all, the plan was to, the decision was to, uh, was to uh, end our military operations and draw down all of our forces and, and retrograde all of our equipment. And that was accomplished. Uh, General Miller, I think, put together a great plan and executed that plan uh, in accordance with the plan. Also, uh, a key part of the plan was to maintain an embassy uh, in Kabul. Uh, and maintaining that embassy would allow us to continue to engage um, the government, to continue to provide resources to, uh, to support the Afghan security forces. So it was, it, the, the plan was to leave uh, a diplomatic presence there. And uh, in conjunction with that plan, we also were going to leave a small military force there to help secure the embassy. So that was the plan, Senator. But you, you didn't address the issue that you made all these, it was your plan, you, you've acknowledged it was your plan, and your plan said you would do all these things before we got our civilians out. I mean, when in the history of this country have we ever had the U.S. military say and, and have a plan that we will take our military out first before we take our civilians? I can't imagine that. When, when, you, when you say civilians, are you, are you, are you talking American about citizens. The American citizens? Yeah. Well, the American citizens uh, would come out once uh, a non-combatant evacuation is declared. And until that point, uh, it, typically, we don't evacuate all the citizens in the country. But we didn't hear. There's American citizens still there. And we continue to remain engaged and, and, uh, and, and work to, uh, to get those citizens out, Senator. But why would you propose a plan that didn't get all American citizens out? I just can't imagine ever in the history of this country our U.S. military would propose to leave a country without our citizens coming out first. I mean, has we, have we ever done that before? All of the American citizens wouldn't leave, Senator, unless there was a non-combatant evacuation. And, you know, uh, the, the, the plan was to leave the embassy there, uh, to continue to address the needs of our American citizens, to engage with the government. And, and so th that was a part of the plan. Not, uh, you know, again, the, the, the plan was never to evacuate the American citizens uh, and leave the embassy there. Do you, did it bother you when the president went on national television and said that he would not leave until all American citizens were, uh, were taken out? Did it bother you that when he said that? Because it clearly is not true, was not truthful. Now, Senator, I, you, know, you, you heard me say several times that we're going to work as hard as we can for as long as we can to get every American citizen out that wants to come out. And, and we continue to do that to this day. Well, I'm running out of time, but one thing I... I, I want when we have uh, next round, I want to understand what decisions would you make differently today to save those 13 lives of, of servicemen and women uh, that we lost at the Kabul airport. So, but thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator, if I could comment on your first opening comment, if, if I may. Uh, go ahead, sir. Oh, sure. Yeah, um, I, I am happy to lay out every detail and all the intel to you as an individual, to any other member or to a committee or anything you want on these Chinese calls at your convenience. Happy Thank to do you. it. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.